Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have some easy spring nail ideas and yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. So for the first design, I'm gonna be starting off with a light green base and then I'm using toothpicks and a white nail polish to draw some flowers. And whenever I use a toothpick for nail art, I like to take some nail polish and put it on a plastic bag. That way I'm able to just dip the toothpick in without having to open my nail polish bottle over and over again. And then I'm just gonna start drawing some flowers. So when I do this, I just make a few dots going in a circle. It's typically five, but if it ends up being four or six, it's really not that big of a deal because these are pretty small, which I love because you can't really tell when it's messed up. So you guys will see a few of my flowers are kind of deformed, but honestly with this kind of print design, I think it looks good. So you can use a toothpick and you can also use a dotting tool or bobby pin, just depending on what your preference is. So I did end up starting with a dad diagonal line of flowers and honestly I don't know why you can do your rows any way you want to I just kind of did that for no reason and you can also put flowers in random places it doesn't have to be in a specific row but once you're done you're gonna take a black nail polish and then add dots to the center of each flower and if you want the dots to be as small as I'm making them I would recommend using a toothpick or a really small dotting tool because if you try to use a bobby pin to make these really small dots it's gonna be a little bit difficult and that's really it for this one so after that you can add a glossy or a matte top coat here I'm showing you guys both but you already know I like the matte version better so moving on to the next design we're gonna be doing some smush some smushing nails Ooh, I don't like that word but anyways I started off with a white base and then I did apply a barrier around my nail to help with cleanup and I will have that link down below but basically I'm gonna take a few random shades and just put some dots of it no, it's more of a glob. I'm put some globs of it around my nail. And you don't want these to be huge or anything, but you do want them to be big enough so that the colors can actually smush together. You can really choose any colors you want for this, but you do want to make sure that you choose a base color that you're okay with showing through. So like, I didn't mind the white showing through with these colors, if that makes sense. And when you're doing this, you do want to work pretty quickly because you don't want your colors drying. And I would also recommend doing one nail at a time, again, because you don't want the colors to dry. But after that, I'm just gonna take a plastic baggie and just start pressing down on my nail. If you don't have a bag, you could also use a random piece of plastic or saran wrap, but when you remove it, it's gonna create this nice kind of, I don't even know how to explain this. It kind of has a marble look. I don't know, I like it. So after that, I just removed my barrier and then finished any cleanup using a brush and acetone. And that is it. Again, you wanna make sure you finish off with the top coat and you're done. For the next design, I'm gonna be starting off with a nice lilac base. And then I am gonna be applying a matte top coat to it. And this is the matte top coat that I've been using throughout the whole video. And I will have that link down below. But once I apply that, I'm gonna let my nail dry completely because I'm gonna be using some striping tape. And if you guys haven't tried striping tape yet, I, what are you doing? I don't know, because this stuff is amazing, <laughs> but I am gonna be using this gold glitter nail polish. And I'm just taking it and filling in that area between the striping tape. And something I like to do is to fill in one side and then remove the striping tape and then fill in the other side. And the reason I like to do this is because you do not want the nail polish to dry. You wanna work as quickly as possible and take the tape off while the polish is still wet. And then after that, I'm just taking a brush and filling in the rest of the area that wasn't covered. And then after that, I am going to be taking a glossy top coat and putting it only on the glitter area. So whenever you're doing this, you want to be careful not to get it on the matte side because then there's going to be random glossy spots. But yeah, that is the final look. I seriously, I love the matte with the glossy. It just, I love it. The next design is a little bit similar. I'm gonna be starting with a tan base and then using the same glitter and matte top coat. And for this design, you can use striping tape again, but I just wanted to freehand it just because why not? So I started by making a diagonal line from the middle of my nail to the bottom toward the cuticle area. And then I'm doing the same thing on the other side to create a triangle shape. And the brush I'm using came from a kit that I got from Amazon, so I will link that below. But like always, I did cut this brush down, and it wasn't huge or anything, but it was slightly bigger. And I just, I don't know, I like working with a really small brush like this. And this glitter nail polish is great. This is Kiara Sky Pixie Dust, and I'm actually almost out of it, but I would definitely 
recommend this. It's a great glitter to have in your collection. So yeah, right now I'm just filling in that area like I did before. And once I'm done, I am gonna apply a glossy top coat just to that triangle. And I actually don't always do this step. I only do it if I have a larger area of glitter, but if it's like a small dot, of glitter or something like that then I won't even worry about adding a top coat and if you aren't using matte then you're just gonna apply your top coat like you would normally and yeah that is it for this design so lastly we have my favorite design and for this one I'm gonna be starting off with a sheer nude base and you do want to try to use a sheer base if you want the same effect but while this is still wet I'm gonna be taking a light green shade and adding a few globs of it onto my nail and then while that's still wet I'm gonna take that small brush and then just kind of wiggle it through the green and the sheer and kind of mix them together and I don't even know what I was doing I was kind of experimenting with this but it turned out so cute it gave it kind of the same marbly effect like I don't know I just I really like this and I do think this would look good with other colors so I'm definitely gonna be trying that out hopefully soon and after I did that I was like you know what this needs glitter so I'm going to be adding some random glitter spots around the nail and you don't really have to do this in any particular way, just kind of wherever you want, however much you want. I just feel like it adds a little, a little something to it, you know? So after that, you're going to add a glossy top coat and you are done. But that is all I have for you guys. Let me know which design was your favorite. You know, I love this one and I actually, oh, I really like the flower one too. Mm. No, this one, this one's still my favorite. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.